The Tory London mayoral race had only started 10 minutes ago and it's already been a bit of a shambles. Yes, in this video we're going to be talking about Daniel Korski who is the candidate of the establishment. So the whole of the Tory machine is behind him, all the government ministers, the top Tory MPs, basically everybody who's behind Rishi Sunak. Daniel used to also be a special advisor in number 10 Downing Street under David Cameron and George Osborne. So that tells you everything. Now, there was a bit of a drama yesterday. Uh, the, the Tories are trying to uh, pick their candidates against Sidi Khan. There are three candidates. Susan Hall is uh, the, the candidate of the grassroots, the actual conservative members. Uh, she's actually still leading, uh, despite uh, Daniel Korski having all the top Tory MPs and ministers backing him, and that's actually not helping his case. Susan Hall is winning so far. But last night there was a hustings, and during the debate, Daniel Korski stormed out. Why? Because of this story that was just released yesterday. Daisy Goodwin uh, wrote uh, in the Times, I believe, that uh, why I'm not, um, well, why I'm naming the man who groped me at number 10, the special advisor who physically got creepy with her allegedly a decade ago is running to be the Tory candidate for London mayor that's why I'm speaking out now so a lot of people were like okay this is a classic um, case of taking advantage of the Me Too movement why we why would you bring it up now so there are all those allegations but this story this was actually mentioned way before this in 2017 there were stories um, and complaints about uh, this issue uh, and the papers uh, talked about it, the former number 10 A denies uh, the, these allegations. So it's not really new. It's not really in terms of mentioning it or mentioning him uh, and or as in the former number 10 advisor. It's not necessarily coming out just now because that would have been a bit, obviously, like a, a gray area saying, well, why would you have to wait until now? So obviously, Team Korski has uh, denied these allegations. This was uh, the, the images from yesterday during the hustings. You can see Susan Hall speaking, and we got that uh, the other candidates, and we've got Daniel Korski sitting. And then, following the publication of the article, Korski disappeared. Where did he go? Yep, as Guido reported, he was going, going, gone. And they also updated this on Guido, saying Daniel Korski was endorsed by Michael Gove and Penny Mordaunt. Note the past tense. It was endorsed at the time. Clearly, not anymore. They were withdrawing their endorsements. A campaign spokesman for Korski said, in the strongest possible terms, Dan categorically denies any allegation of inappropriate behavior whatsoever. So we can't really fully legally comment on any of this yet because um, his team are denying the allegations. And it's simply about the fact that the whole Tory London mayoral election campaign is already in chaos because of this. Now, this is about what the Tory establishment are going to be doing. Are they going to continue to push for Korski? Because it's not going to be a good look, is it? Um, Even if the allegations are untrue, it's not really going to help the PR game of this upcoming election against Sadiq Khan. And also, my main issue with Daniel Korski is the fact that he's uh, way too establishment, especially for the London mayoral election. So we don't really need that sort of person. Susan Hall is more solid. Obviously, Howard Cox from Reform UK is saying all the right things. And there are people, um, independent-minded people as well, uh, who are going to be standing in this election. So we'll see how everything goes until next year, 2024. Now, let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media.